What's going on guys, Charles Benz here and doing a video review of some flashlights. Now this flashlight in particular, if you're someone you know that's in the in the market for something inexpensive, you know, say um, you gotta get something last minute, you're not buying this online, or maybe you are gonna buy it online. Um, you know, something in the $30 price range, give or take, 10 bucks. A great flashlight, something that I you know I've checked out for some time now, I've had it for uh, a couple weeks, you know, enough to test it out real well, is this Ozark Trail LED flashlight. Now, Ozark Trail is probably, many of you know, it's kind of a Walmart brand um, flashlight, and it's, you know, I, I don't know the whole background on Ozark Trail, so I was a little hesitant at buying this flashlight at first, but after using it for a while, checking it out and kind of putting it through the uh, the ringer I was able to determine it's a pretty good flashlight for the money now again you're looking at 30 bucks for this you know you might find a sale um, the one I got actually came as a value package because it was Christmas time normally it's just this big flashlight um, but this one came with a little headlamp too and we'll get to that in a second so to give you the specs on this it shines 600 lumens. It's made out of aluminum, so it is hard. Okay, you could definitely knock someone over the head with that if you had to, or um, you know, if in an emergency, maybe break some glass on your window by butting it. You know, um, it can take a one meter fall and not have any problems. I have dropped it to check it out, and I didn't have any issues with it. It's pretty sealed. I know it's supposed to be. Um, uh, it's supposed to run for six hours and 30 minutes and the total length of the beam when you're outside you should be able to shine it as far as 252 meters so it's pretty good distance and you have two settings on this as well and, uh, and by the way it doesn't say anything about being water resistant and I, I haven't checked that either I don't want to you know get this thing ruined so no water resistance um, it has two modes to the beam. So first click, you have a you know real bright, and I'll shine out the camera a little bit. You have a, you know the maximum brightness on that, 600 lumens, and then you press it again. It dims it down a little bit, uh, I think in half. So it is, let's see, actually lows 120 lumens, and so you can get 40 hours of runtime out of the low setting. Again, six hours and 30 minutes out of the high setting. Uh, the high setting gives you 252 meters of range, and the low setting gives you 107 meters of range. Now, let's get in the guts of it. First thing I wasn't a big fan of, and I, I wanted it to do this, is like, you know, on the mag lights, you can twist this and then, you know, focus your beam a little bit. You can't do that. It's one setting on this, which kind of was unfortunate. Not a big fan of this orange on here. This orange piece right here is an uh, like a rubber O-ring. I, I just I don't know. I don't like the orange. It looks bad. It'd be better with black on there. I feel like, but maybe that's just me. So this uh, the rings on there, nice and smooth. You can see there's really nothing in there except a connector. There's a um, there's a little bit of. Uh, I thought it was moisture. Um, you open this up, you can see there's the there's a black O-ring in the inside and then this orange one on the outside. So I'm sure it's a little bit water resistant. Takes six AA batteries. Okay. And it's pretty lightweight without the batteries. Other than that, that is pretty much the gist of it. It uses a Cree LED, just one LED in there. Decently hard. I wouldn't try to hit anything with the front end of this, but um, you know, if you had to hit something on the lip of it, you know, maybe fend off an attacker in a situation, you could, you could do that. Whatever. 